Okay, we have the equation x to the four-fifths equals 17 uh, using a strategy similar to the one we used over here. Uh, we raise x to the four-fifths to the five-fourths. Why? Because that gives us x to the four-fifths times five-fourths, and we can easily verify that that is one. So we have x to the one, which is just x. Now, of course, when we take the five-fourths power of this side, we also have to take the five-fourths power of this side. And that gives us the 17 to the 5 fourths, and that's the same all the way down. So x is 17 to the 5 fourths, and that can, if needed, uh, if, if we need to, uh, that can be approximated. The way we would key that in to a calculator, um, there are various ways. If you're using the uh, up arrow thing, the caret is what it's called not the kind of carrot you eat, kind of spelled like the uh, carrot you would use to measure uh, the size of a diamond. Um, but, you know, that's the shift six, that's the thing that we're used to using for the exponent. So you could calculate 17 raised to the, and you want to put parentheses around five-fourths. Because if you didn't put parentheses around five-fourths, the order of operations would take over. You would raise 17 to the fifth, and then divide that by four, which is very different than taking 17 to the five-fourths power. So be cautious about that. Um, and, you know, if you don't know how to put something like this into your calculator, bring your calculator to me. Uh, so a lot of times you have an X to the Y or Y to the X button on the calculator. Um, and, you know, you would need to know how to use that, um, which is very straightforward, but that's kind of the standard way of doing it.